everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts, and today I'm sharing with you a video to show you how to put together the cards that came in the October Breast Cancer Fundraising Card Class. And if you purchase this class, I just want to give a huge shout out to you and thank you for supporting this wonderful cause. I know I'm sure all of us know someone that has been touched by breast cancer and um, we really need to find a cure so all of this money will help support the research efforts. So this is what the outside of your bag looks like and I'm just going to show you the inside and some of the things that you can use. So when you open up your bag there will be your little case with your cards and I've divided them all up. You're making four cards, two each of four designs using the beautiful snowman season bundle. It comes with a stamp set and a punch, which you'll see as we go along. And it also comes with this spectacular paper. And the paper is really, really beautiful. And it has um, glitter snowmen and little glitter on the hats. It's so pretty that seriously, it's hard to choose which side you're going to use. But I had to, and when you get your little package, you're gonna be going, oh my gosh, she cut that. She's gonna put glue on this cute little snowman. You can do your cards however you want. I'm just gonna show you how I designed them and how I thought they might look nice together. So we'll just set this aside. And it also tells you the colors that go along with it. And I really liked the flirty flamingo. Not traditionally a Christmas color, but it really works with this set. All right. So we're gonna get started on the first card. There will also be a PDF that goes along with this to show you pictures of how to put the cards together. And I've gone ahead and done some of the stamping so that this video won't be really long and I won't bore you. So each of the envelopes, there's four envelopes, has the materials in it to make two cards. And when you pull it out, um, there's not in this one, but there'll be another envelope tucked in the back. So you have two envelopes and the materials to make two cards. So this one is using the Flirty Flamingo. And so you get two different card bases. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold those. That's my bone folder. This is such a pretty color. I used it a lot last year. For Valentine's Day and actually any floral card making that I was doing but it's just really really pretty just slide this up here all right so there we have our two card bases and I think this card is quite unique in the way that I've used the designer series paper these are just the card inserts you'll get those also available in your kit and for this card there's nothing fancy that we're doing with them so I'm just gonna tuck them in there so what I've done is I've taken one piece of designer series paper, five and a quarter by four inches. And then I've taken the rectangular stitched frames and I've cut out um, the middle frame. And we're going to use that to layer up on our card. I thought that was a really clever use of paper. I didn't invent that, so I saw it on someone else's blog and I can't remember who. And the only stamping, well, we'd already stamped this little guy with the stamp set that comes in your kit, which is the snowman season. So you've got this cute little snowman that fits the punch and then these two other adorable little guys. And we're gonna use almost all the stamps in this set. And you can use the hat and the arms as well because they coordinate with the punch, but you are getting the little embellishment kit with your set, so you can use that if you want. So here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to stamp up this little guy using Memento Black ink. And I'm actually only stamping the top half of him because my circle is smaller than he is. So I'm just going to do the very, oh, I think I better ink it all up so that I make sure I get as much as I want. So I'm just positioning him that. I hope you can see that. I think you can. Perfect. And then you can go ahead and color him. I'm not 
not going to color them right now. I'm just going to show you how to use the puffy paint. So um, the piece that you have of Coastal Cabana, I've already run through the embosser using this subtle folder. So I'm just going to glue this on. This is a very quick card to make. Sometimes I like using the Tombow when I'm using an embossing folder because it, I find with the ridges from the embossing, it seems to work a little better. Okay, so we've got that on there. Let's go ahead and glue this frame on. See what I mean? Look how cute that is on the other side. I don't know. Now, you do not get the pack of paper with your kit, but if I were you, I would order it because you will use it. And the fun thing about this card, this paper, and I'll show you in another card, is you can make cards without even having the stamp set. But you guys have the stamp set, so it's all good. And I'm going to put this one in the middle of this card. Got the sun shining through today, but I'm not going to complain because we got snow last night. All right, now I'm going to show you about the puff paint. So you also received, as a free gift for purchasing this kit, um, a little bottle of puff paint. I'm going to show you what it does. So it comes in a little bottle like this, Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. And when you get yours, make sure you shake it up every time you use it. And I will tell you, when it first comes out, it's like liquid glue. So don't be alarmed, because it's magical what it does. And you don't need a lot. So, And you don't really need to squeeze it, you just kind of need to drop it on. You can see there. Hopefully you can see that. I just dropped it on. Getting a shadow from the sunshine. Also, I always use a clipboard so that I don't burn my hands. I'm putting a little bit on the bottom. And here I'm doing a little drop on all the snowflakes. No, not snowflakes, snowballs. And a little bit on the bottom. I did make some a little bit earlier and I will tell you it takes a little bit of time to dry. So we're just going to get noisy for a minute as I heat emboss this. Try to turn it that way. So you can see right now it looks like glue. It just takes a minute. Once it starts to go, it goes rather quickly. There it goes. You see that? How it's puffing up? Now I will tell you to leave it dry a little bit because I did a card earlier and I'll show you. And I didn't leave it dry quite long enough and it kind of smushed to the back of the other card. So here we go. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look how big those snowballs are. And the nice thing is, it doesn't add really that much dimension to your card because it will squish down a little bit if you're mailing your card and you have to put it in an envelope. It's just so adorable. And if you want to, if you're finished and you think, oh, I think I want a little bit more here, here, or here, you can just go back and apply some more. I will tell you, if you leave it on too long, it starts to burn. So just be cognizant of that. There we go. I just think it's so cute. So this one's going to go in here. And this one's, I'm just gonna, you can put it in the middle or I'm gonna layer it off kind of to the side. For this one, I didn't put a greeting on, but obviously you can. I'm gonna use dimensionals, I think, to pop these up. And also, if you have the paper, you can cut, fussy cut a couple of the little trees and add them to the front. I didn't do that for yours, but um, it's an option. Of course, you can design these things any way you want, but that doesn't look cute as well. So I'm just going to put that down in the corner. And I could have taken my blends and colored the hat. It actually would have been a lot cuter. Um, but I just really want to show you how to put the cards together. Oh, I'm going to pop this one up as well. You can really see how the little snowballs really pop up on this one. 
it's very fun to use this. It's kind of addictive. You're going to be putting snow on all your cards. And it really makes them look cute. All right. So these are the first two cards. So you're going to get the same color bases. You'll get all the materials that I'm showing you here today. Everything's ready. You just need to stamp. So there we go. That's card number one, two different designs. This is the only card that has two different designs, but I really like how clever, what a clever way that is to use the designer series paper. And I noticed that one's a bit crooked, but it's good enough for now. So we'll just set that aside. All right, card number two, we're going to be using, punching out our little snowman friend and then putting this together. Here's exactly what I meant. I tucked this inside, then I closed it, and it wasn't quite dry, so I got a little bit of it on the back here. But that's fine. This is just my demo card. So you're going to find in some of your envelopes um, pieces of paper to punch, to stamp and punch out your snowman. So in this envelope, you have your big piece for the back. You have a smaller piece for the front. You have your little strip that's going to go along here. And then you have another little scrap of white to do your snowman. And I just put this here to show you. So here's the snowman punch. You can see there's a snowman, arms, hat, and a carrot nose. So when you're stamping, stamp your snowman so it's near the bottom of your piece of paper. The papers that I gave you, you might think they look small, but he actually doesn't take up much paper. And what I like to do is so that you're not wasting paper, you can stamp them fairly close together, but then you have to cut them out. Otherwise, when you punch, the arms and the hat are gonna punch out as well. So I just use a little strip, add a sticky note to give you some length to put it in, line him up, and voila. So that's just a little trick on stamping him towards the bottom and how to punch him out. I went ahead and punched mine out already. Um, and I should have used a different color hat for him. Why didn't I? I don't know. Hmm. All right, just another little tip. I did some snowflakes in here, and I love this saying, hoping this, hoping this season builds heartwarming memories. Merry Christmas. So I thought that was cute. I'm just going to snow on this one. So what I'm going to do sure your snailing will be better than mine looks right now. I'm going to tuck it right over to the edge here and it is the exact same height. You can change that if you want. But And the reason I'm doing that is because I want this piece to go here and not cover up my writing. And it's a little bit close so I'm actually going to trim it. This you should never do on a video but should use my paper cutter. Here's another example of how cute the paper is. Little mittens and then the stripes. You could use the mitten side too or one of each. I'm just going to use the stripes. I'm snugging it right up to the edge because when you close it up you can still see that little bit. I've cut and scored your cards exactly to the right size. Then we're going to take this piece I've gone ahead and stamped it and added some puffy paint to the bottom. And this one I'm going to use glue just because I don't want to push down too much on the puffy paint, which you kind of have to do when you use a snail. So this one I'm just going to center in the middle of the card. And again, it's the exact same height, so it's five and a half inches. All right. Then we're going to take our little guy and we're going to, now his little hat is from the accessory kit. So with your kit, you're going to get this little accessory kit that is so stinking cute. It's got some washi tape that we're gonna use on a different card. The little arms that I used, they just peel and stick. I didn't use the nose. He's got little buttons that you can put on as well. And he has little clothing. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. 
little heart and he's got little mittens or she and a little scarf oh my gosh so cute and it comes in flirty flamingo uh, garden green coastal cabana and red so you got lots of choices there so we'll just tuck that away we're going to use that on another card as well so then I'm going to take, so I did put his hat on using Tombow glue and you can use whatever you want, but I found that the Tombow glue worked the best. I'm going to put that like that. I'm just going to sit him right up on my little snow. Actually, I want him down a little bit. I have to move that. And you can play around with that. I didn't have him when I originally went to put that on. Now I'm supposed to have a saying for this one that I can't find at the moment. But there's a little bow. Okay, so we'll come back to this one. There's going to be a little bow here. And I'm going to steal it from this kit and then put it back. Not that one. Oh, there's that one. set this is I will replace it so you also with this one will have a little circle and red glitter so we're gonna stamp the let it snow I'm just gonna grab a block I thought I had everything ready obviously not um, and in hindsight I probably should put a red hat on this little guy Maybe I did on the other one. I did. There he is with a red hat, which would be cute, but we're using this one on the other card. So I'm just going to use my black ink. Stamp that. And you could stamp it in red as well. Whatever you like. Do one of each. And when I'm using glitter paper, I like to use Tombow for sure to make sure it really sticks well. And I'm going to put dimensionals just on this side. And I can feel that not quite sticking yet. Hopefully it will long enough for you to get the idea. And then I'll set it aside. So a couple of dimensionals on this side. And then... Oh, probably need some more glue. And then a couple of, I've already tied your bows for you, and I love this ribbon, it's so pretty. And it ties beautiful bows, if I may say so myself. I'm going to put two, two glue dots because the bow is quite substantial. And then a little bow. So yeah, I would definitely change the hat color to red. And maybe put the bow up a little taller. Anyways, very cute. Card number two. They're not in that order in your bag, but... Just when you look through and find the materials for that card, you'll know it's this one. All right, the next card. Now, I think I probably should have gone ahead and done your scoring for you. In the instructions, I tell you to go and make sure that the, ed the cards meet in the middle. But I probably should have scored one of them, so you could have just met in the middle. Anyways, I didn't, so... If you need to do it, it's two and an eighth because you want to have four and a quarter all together. So for this card, I've gone ahead and cut out, just punched out with a two and a quarter inch circle punch out of the paper. Remember I was telling you how cute the paper is? This little guy, you guys all have different ones. They're all different. There's one sheet of paper that has a whole bunch of different ones. So we're going to glue him onto red. Also, you notice these colors of reds are different because this is cherry cobbler, but you have real red, which is the actual color you should have. I just used it all up in the kits. We'll set that aside. And then you're going to get four pieces of paper. Oh, I have three pieces of paper, but you'll get four. And if you look carefully, you'll see I've cut them 
specifically so that you'll see where they had gone together before. So if you're, if you're really particular and you want to make sure that they are matching, just look and see. They will match. I, I checked all of them. Look how pretty that is on the other side. Oh, I just hate using it. But we're going to. And this side has the glitter. So we're going to adhere one to this side. One to the other side. I hope this is still recording. There you go. How cute is that already? Then you're going to take your thin piece of Coastal Cabana and you're going to wrap it. And in the instructions I said wrap it so that it ends up at the front. And the reason you're doing that is because you want the hinge to be at the front. And by hinge I mean the seam. And make sure it's loose enough that it can go on and off the card. I'm going to actually use snail because I want it a little quicker. There we go. So there you have, that's called a belly band and you see it'll slide on and off. And of course you put your piece of whisper white in there that's in your kit. Slide this on because you might your tendency is to put the belly band at the back but it's going to be covered when you do it this way. So there we go. And then I'm going to take my dimensionals again. And I'm going to take two and I'm going to put them on here so I know exactly where the middle is going to be. And put your little guy right in the middle. Oh my gosh, that's so stinking cute. And then you just slide it off. There we go. That's card number three. And the last card, we have another little snowman that I've pre-cut. And here's where I've used that washi tape. So I've just taken the washi tape that's in the little kit. And I've just done two stripes of washi tape down the edge. You just lie it on, overlap at the edges a bit, and then just go back with your scissors and cut it off. So, oh my gosh, look at the back. There's those little guys where you just take your two and a quarter inch punch. How cute are those? I know, I almost want to cry putting glue on these. But you can do, you don't need to do that. You can do yours however you like. So it goes onto your card base. Then we're going to take the little piece of this again. These are the little guys I used on the front of your boxes. So I just cut them from the paper as well. So we're going to glue over him. If you can dare to do it. I don't know. So he's going to go in the middle of the white and then the white is going to get glued on right about there. And then for this little guy I added the scarf, the hat and the arms and he is just so cute. A couple of dimensionals on the back. I'm going to actually wait and put him on until I decide exactly where I want him. Then I've stamped. I used the stamp Believe, which is from the Itty Bitty Christmas Cling stamp set, new this year. Beautiful set. Lots of really nice greetings. So I didn't stamp yours, but I'm sure you have something that you can stamp in there. That one I'll let you have fun with and decide. I'm putting more glue on this time because I'm using, again, some of that glittery paper. Now, I'm not putting it right in the middle. I'm offsetting it a little bit, which I didn't think I'd want to put the glue on, but it's all good. And then a couple of dimensionals on the back. Peel those off. We're almost done. It's going to take you longer because I pre-stamped a lot of my stuff. Now, just decide where you want your little guy and where you want your I believe. You can, oh, I forgot. Got these already ready to go. You can fancy this up with some rhinestones or whatever you like. There, I think right there. Cute! Alright, let's review our cards. This is number four. This one is number three. 
Number two. And number one. I know when I watch a video, I always like to pause it and look exactly. And I'm going to take pictures of these and put them in the PDF. So there we go. So again, thank you so much oops, for purchasing this fundraising kit. All the money will be going to breast cancer research. I hope you have fun with your new products. And if I were you, I wouldn't wait too long. I would order a pack of the designer series paper. Even if you don't use it this year, you'll be able to use it next year. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Have a great day.